Yo, 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 what's good, my special flipping foodies, man? Welcome back. It's a much anticipated video. A lot of y'all in the comments saying y'all want to see these fluffiest pancakes I'm talking about. And here it is. I'm dropping down another recipe, Brunch 411, new series, episode one. Let's get it cooking. Definitely excited about this one. Right here, we got some huevos, all right? We got the whole line of coutrement or whatever you call it. So we ready to make this recipe. This is a real simple recipe. Trust and believe you ain't gonna be buying that pancake mix at the store once you get this done, all right? Let's get it. That's my mind, it really won't quit. But sometimes I wonder about this. Man, sometimes I wonder about this. All right, whisk that all together. And this is pretty much ready for our wet ingredients, all right? So in terms of wet ingredients, this is what we have going for us right here. All right. We got a teaspoon. We got two teaspoons of vanilla. And then we got a cup and a half of buttermilk. Okay, let's say you don't have buttermilk, right? Go ahead, take you about one and a half cups of just regular whole milk. And then take like about half to a whole squeezed lemon. Put it in there. Let it sit for five to ten minutes on your counter. Same thing, you know what I'm saying? Or you can do, you can substitute, if you don't have lemon, use uh, use vinegar instead, you know what I'm saying? So use about like a, about one fourth cup to, of a, a per cup of uh, milk, all right? So right here, we have some farm fresh eggs. Farmer Paul was nice enough to give us. So we're gonna go ahead and take four of these off. Put that ever so gently right there, okay? And repeat that steps with the next three eggs, all right? All right, after you get them separated, as you can see, all right? What you wanna do, put this aside for, real, for a little minute. One fourth cup, cane sugar, all right? Get it nice, give it that thing a little whiskey business. Now pretty much you wanna, it's gonna get a pale yellow. So once it gets a pale yellow, we can add our uh, teaspoon of, our two teaspoons of vanilla and then our buttermilk. And done, just like that. You see that? Nice pale yellow, all right? Once you get to that, we're just making our wet batter here, all right? So right here, we got our one and a half cups of buttermilk. Go ahead, add that in, all right? All righty, nice whiskey, nice whiskey. All right, we got two teaspoons vanilla. All righty, and that is our wet right there, all right? That's pretty much all you need for that for right now. Set it to the side. Now right here, as you can see, this is our dry like before. Okay. Always add a pinch of salt. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Go ahead, transfer that. Or if you have a big enough bowl that you already started off with, that's fine too. I just had to do that just for my sanity, you know? So I usually just add a little bit at a time. All right. Whisk it in, and here's another here's another tip. All right, look at that. You see that? It's moving. You don't want that all the time. All right, get you one of these towels. There you go. You don't have to worry about that no more. All right, PJ tip. <laughs> all right, go ahead, mix that in. Make sure all your flowers getting incorporated in now. After that's mixed up. Now, if it does look a little too thick for you, for your liking, always make sure you have extra buttermilk. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna add probably like slightly, maybe 
I'd say maybe a quarter cup more. Not, not, not too much. It's a wee bit, okay? It's okay to adjust your recipe, all right? We're not baking here. But if you're baking, be careful, okay? <laughs> you don't want to do that. I drizzle it in just to make sure I ain't doing too much. There we go. The acid from the buttermilk is going to be activated. Activating the baking soda. The baking soda and the baking powder are going to work hand in hand and it's going to fluff it real up. All right, you see that? We want it right there. Okay, that consistency in between the cake batter, pancake batter, you know, type of thickness. Now, you see what we got left over here? Got our egg whites. Let's whip it up. Now, start off on low. All right, once you get to little soft peaks, so a little bit minute. Get that air in there. Now you see soft peaks right there. Add a little bit of sugar, all right? One fourth cup sugar in there. All right, get back to business. All righty. There we go. And then a good test. That's when you know it's ready, all right? Now, I will say this. Once you get back to your pancake batter, if it thickens up, so sometimes when you let pancake batter sit, it does that, it thickens up. I did add a little bit more um, liquid to it. So if you, whatever you uh, use as a liquid, uh, as far as uh, in terms of like buttermilk, milk, you can even just use milk, it's fine. Perfectly fine, all right? So. You just want to make sure you get that consistency of, um, you know, a nice little cake batter, pancake batter mixture. Get the little ribbons going, you know. So we got this. You want to take a little bit. All right. Fold. All right. That's it. Let's fold it in. You don't want to ruin the air bubbles that we got over there, you know. So we're gonna do this a total of about three to four times till we incorporate all of our beaten egg whites. This should be, this should make about, you know, a nice size. You know, if you got a big family, this should make about 12 to 14 pancakes. So definitely can use it for the next day, it's fine. They won't be as fluffy, but they still be good, don't worry. Use them within two to four days, all right? Two to three days. Use them within two to three days. Here it is. There's your pancake batter. Now that we got these, now we got pancake batter made. Let's hit the griddle, baby. More butter, more better. Let's go ahead and get these little things on the griddle, all right? Get nice and lubricated. Get your heads out the gutter, all right? Thank you very much. You nasty people, you. All right, anyway. If you want them extra fluffy, go ahead and use a cookie cutter, all right? Grease those sides down a little bit. There you go, just like that. Go for about one to one and a half, to one to one and a quarter scoops, all right? Right there in the middle. One scoop. Quarter scoop, all right? I'm telling you right now, watch how much these things rise, all right? Cover them, right after you get your mix in there, put a cover on it, two to three minutes on a medium low heat. Catch on the flip side. Three minutes, flip it. This, it's a guideline, okay? You don't need it, but all honesty, it helps you keep pancakes around. And it kind of makes a flipping a lot easier. You get me? Two minutes on that side, good to go. Two minutes elapsed, take it off. Just like that, bring it over to your plate. Right there in the center, all right? And then, 
should be noise. Come off just like that. Let's build this stack. My mind of late, cause late at night I find my mind reminded of a face. A late at night I find my ride arriving at a place, then rising up the space. I finally found my pace. Hold up. We was having fun, but when it was said and done, I thought I had space to run. Then Cupid shot me with a gun. How can you be so numb, baby girl? I'm from the slums. I was chasing. Hey, little known fact you could actually eat the outside of these, but for video purposes, I'll cut it off for y'all, okay? But this is where the fire is at. I'll eat it. That's Sun Gold sun, uh, Kiwi, all right? Let me learn. Same goes for them. Better 100% maple syrup, never leave home without it. There you have it the fluffiest pancakes you will ever, ever sink your teeth into. Promise you. Hey, tell the tell the I to the H to the O to the P. They ain't got nothing on P to the J. You know what I'm saying? So left that's definitely this was a great recipe for y'all to, to definitely just showcase what you got in the kitchen. This is what we do, y'all. You know what I'm saying? If you want to see some more recipes, let me know in the comments down below. You want to see some more brunch recipes, stir fry. Teppanyaki, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing. We spatula flipping foodies out here. Thank y'all for, for your support. Chef Fork Life, AKA PJ, over and out. Love, peace, and chicken grease. But I was you tried to step on my neck and I couldn't forget. I turned around and I turned up the chick. I turned around and I up to begin. I did the dirt and I paid off the debt. These niggas berserk so I see with the tick. I bought some eggs and I fuck with my eggs. You show me your colors and lost my respect.